video. This video is going to be partly about my tire struggles with the Brompton. This is a kind of a popular topic, but also Brompton extremities upgrades which are available and they are an option for people who want to install really big and comfortable tires on this very small and compact bicycle. Now this channel is not limited to the Brompton, it's not limited to tires. This channel is about small wheel bikes, usually in the 16 to 20 inch range. Not just bicycles, scooters, mini motorcycles, anything on two, three, sometimes even on four wheels that you can ride on. If you're interested in this topic, I recommend that you subscribe. I have a backup channel on Odyssey and Please check out some of the merchandise recommendations I have in the description below the video. So to get back to the topic, I'm showing you the tire, the front tire that was upgraded to the 1.5 inch wide um, green speed scorcher tire. You can see that the rear is still the old tire. It's my old Schwalbe. This is a 1.35. It's a very uncomfortable tire. I run on 90 to 100 PSI, and you can see it's pretty worn. I just wanted to test the big scorcher tire or bigger scorcher tire on the front first, and it worked just fine. I could even use the, the mud guard, so no problem. This is how the front looks. You can see that it's, it is a bigger tire, but not that much bigger than the Schwalbe, but I can run it on 40 or 50 PSI. I typically run it on 50 PSI and the difference in the level of comfort and also the smoothness, like how easily this tire accelerates, is off the charts compared to the Marathon. I have nothing wrong to say about the Marathon, but that's a touring tire. It's not a very comfortable tire to, to ride on. It was built exclusively for durability, much more than anything else. So I wanted to upgrade the rear tire as well and I wanted to remove the mud guards. The mud guards can get pretty dusty and you can see that there isn't much clearance. So I got a new tire for the rear and I believe I have a link to the hostel shop site where you can get these tires. They are pretty expensive. They run around 80 bucks per piece and sometimes I get to uh, order them from Australia because it's so difficult to get them but if you wait you can get them and they are certain, certainly worth the wait. This white wool series is apparently running out and they are coming out with a new version that's going to be even lighter and it's going to be all black or it's going to have some kind of a different imprint on it. I must say I really like this reflective coating. I think it's really safe and makes the tire look good. You can see the actual sizing. The sizing is 349 millimeters as opposed to the 345 millimeter of the Brompton and the 305 millimeter of most tire manufacturers. Most 16 inch tires on the market are 305. So don't be fooled and buy a, a 305 millimeter 16 inch tire for your Brompton because it's not going to fit. 349 does fit. It's just a, a very slight difference. And I did the job by myself. It wasn't that bad. You had to unscrew a few things, but this does not require a mechanic. As you can see, it got pretty dirty. I keep my bike really clean, but these are areas where I just cannot easily get to. And if you have a lot of dirt, it can cause problems with the tire. So I recommend that you keep it really clean. Unless you want to remove the, the, the wheel every time you clean the tire, you can perhaps squeeze a wet cloth in here and roll the tire to, to try to clean out this area. In the winter, you can even have ice on it, but I don't think many people ride in frozen conditions. So it was full of dirt. I'm, I'm not missing the, the mud guards. I'm not missing this stuff at all. As you can see, there is plenty of space here. If I wanted to go for a two inch wide tire, that would add a quarter inch on each side. Now this is about a half an inch, 
the quarter inch will be somewhere somewhere here you, you have that much space even on the top I measured the distance on the top on the top I would need a full half inch to mount a big apple tire and you can see that um, there is enough space for it nevertheless the big apple cannot be mounted on this rim and I gave you some incorrect information on my previous videos and I'll cover that in just a minute so to look at what the Big Apple tire offers it has a 12 inch version it has a 14 inch and it has a 16 inch as well but the 16 inch is a 305 you cannot mount a 305 I mean actually you cannot mount it you can mount it on the standard fork but it's going to be a smaller wheel and the tire is going to be much fatter and the, the reach of the caliper brakes is not going to be enough so you have to re replace or upgrade the, the brakes which is entirely possible and I'm going to show you an arrangement for somebody uh, which one hmm. So this one, this is where you see that they actually installed a smaller rim. This is a 305 16 inch rim. And this is the original rim on the standard Brompton. Now this is installed on a custom uh, extremity, custom four, custom rear triangle. But you could do the front. You could not do the rear, but you can do the front just as you see it here but with a different uh, caliper brake. This is a custom fork. It's my favorite actually. And uh, this fork is typically used with, with a disc brake. So what you see here is the hydraulic disc brake. You can also install mechanical discs. This setup is called the Vostok. It's made in Russia by this gentleman. He makes it in a plant and he used to have a website. He doesn't have a website anymore. What he does is he goes on Indiegogo every once in a while and he launches a new batch. If you need a set now, it's probably going to take some extra money, but you can certainly contact him. This is how it's made. I think it's the most beautiful setup that you can get. I really like the way they have done the rear triangle. There is a curve in it and the curve runs into this completely flat thing that has all the holes, all the install spots in the rear triangle. And this is a much wider triangle than the stock. The fork is also amazing because the fork is a space frame fork that that is made out of not one but two titanium tubes see two titanium tubes nobody else builds a fork like this for the Brompton the cost of the full set is going to be over a thousand dollars something like 1200 for the set if you just want one piece it's going to be five six hundred dollars according to my measurements you can keep your stock fork with an upgraded uh, long reach uh, grip brake and you only need to upgrade the rear triangle which is actually not that expensive but since the rear triangle is wider than the stock you're gonna have to replace the rear hub and the whole reason people do this upgrade is partly to install uh, a disc brake which is much more powerful than the stock Brompton brake but also to upgrade to something like a roll of hub which is a two thousand dollar hub so this is a really fancy upgrade but you can also upgrade cheaper to cheaper Shimano hubs as well here's a Vostok upgrade front and rear really nice really fancy you can see that there are two tubes in the front to make it extra rigid and yet very lightweight this is the Indiegogo the last Indiegogo that I could find this is actually getting pretty old I'm sure the pandemic and the lockdown must have affected this trade and the production I don't even know if we can import anything from Russia based on the political situation depending upon where you are if you're not in the US or England you might be able to import it 
it's it's really a beautiful set I absolutely love it really professional and unique looking you can mount anything smaller wheels to 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 mount the stock big apple tires really classy brakes any kind of hub hub gear that you want and this is a unique situation where somebody decided to go asymmetrical I'm not sure if there would be a problem running a wider tire in the triangle so spending this kind of money you would definitely want to take want to take some me measurements you want to ask some measurements from people um, who are selling these and this is the price of a Big Apple in the 305 16 inch size this is about thirty dollars not an easy tire to f to find but it can be found now there's another extremity upgrade which pushes the wheels down so you can install 18 inch rims this is the same rim that you see on on the birdie so this is the same rim you have on the birdie this is a birdie with the with the standard 16 inch 16 by 2 big apple tires and this is a, a 305 millimeter so this is kinetics kinetics is in the UK what I know about this guy is this guy has upgraded the Brompton in so many ways the Brompton company has taken away his license he's not allowed to sell Brompton anymore but he sells all kinds of crazy upgrades even belt drive you can get anything from kinetics and I'll put uh, a link in the description so you can find it so this is the standard 16 inch size and this is what it looks like once you have upgraded it to the kinetics with the 18 inch rims this is a crazy and insane upgrade and I'm not sure I like it like aesthetically it's not very pleasing I actually like the smaller the smaller wheel this wheel looks really sexy on the Brompton for some reason Th this big wheel is not very appealing to me but for somebody who wants to do a lot of off-roading or touring and doesn't want to replace the Brompton with a birdie that this could be an option and this is another kinetics installation with the in fact in, I'm not sure if it's even kinetics there are so many kits on the market you really have to do your research but this involves installing the smaller 305 rims and because the tires are so fat they still fill up th the gap they still go pretty far up so what you lose on, on the rim size you tend to gain back if you install something as big as the, the Big Apple and here is a video I took riding with the new uh, why there are 1.5 tire installed in the rear it's inflated to about 50 psi you can see that it's uh, it looks hard it's not soft at all but you can also see if you look inside the triangle that there's really hardly any space on the two sides especially on the right side in fact the standard triangle that comes from Brompton includes a little little dent that they put into it because the the rear triangle is so tight the only way you can even run the the regular 1.35 tire is if they put a little dent into it so this is definitely the biggest tire you can buy for the Brompton without upgrading the extremities at least in the rear and what's in the way is not so much the brake which is easily upgradable to something bigger or wider the problem is the triangle itself you don't have that problem in the front because in the front the brake might have to be upgraded but uh, the fork is actually wide enough to take something that's uh, two inches wide here I'm showing a little bit of off-roading the tire works works reasonably well obviously it's not a real gravel tire this is just 1.5 bit but I, I'm absolutely amazed at the resilience of this tire I have ridden all over with this thing and no puncture so far I've had the tire for a whole year and no flats so highly recommended uh, get the tire check out the the links in the description and I'll be back soon enough again if you're interested in small wheel stuff electric bikes tire tech this is the channel to subscribe you to subscribe to and I'll see you in the next one